Hello, YouTube friend. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new to this channel, my name is Tim. I self convert this 1999 Toyota Sienna into a van camper, minivan camper, which I use to travel all 48 states. So I had last week I had a little boo boo going on with the water system. And everybody was watching the part. I will put a link to the top what that video is. But everyone was under the impression it was the, the pump that caused the problem. No, it's not. I will show you what caused a real problem. And then I'm going to show you what it takes to uh, remove or, or re install the carpet into the minivan camper. All right. So this is how my water system was set up inside a minivan. Right now it's not in the vehicle, but I'm going to simulate it. But I was parking and the hose coming out. And this end came loose from the pump over there. Since I don't have enough water in there, I'm going to show you something else. I'm going to simulate with another bottle of water. So I already primed the water into the hose. As you can see, the water will level will stay equivalent to the bottle but once you lower it down to the ground gravity will feed it and look see how the water start coming up that's the problem i had because it came loose from the pump see how the water coming up but once you move it up high it won't leak so after i put everything in, i'm going to show you my new setup to prevent that from ever happening again so after three days of drying this in 90 plus weather, the carpet is finally dry completely. I mean the underlayment. All right. And I will show you one important thing why you need to remove this if water ever get down to the bottom of this part. So as you can see, this is plastic, pretty much vinyl. Down here is the insulation and on top is the carpet. So if you only leak a little bit of water on top of this, it's okay to let it dry over time. But if you have more than a gallon of water leaking down, chances are the water will get down here. You have to completely remove this out of vehicle to dry it. Otherwise you're gonna have big problem with mold and mildew. So I'm gonna put this back to the vehicle and I will show you what kind of tool I will be using to reinstall it or remove it. For this particular uh, uh, minivan, 1999 Toyota Sienna, all you really need is a screwdriver for cross point and a flathead. This one have a multiple bits, so I only need one. Get one of these if you don't have to have too many tools. And then a ratchet, a 3 8 ratchet with a little uh, maybe 3 inch extension and a 14 millimeter socket. And that is all you need to remove the carpet from the from the minivan. So unfortunately, I didn't film the process of taking out a carpet. Maybe a little bit I did. I don't remember. But uh, literally, you just uh, anything that have screw like this, you just remove the screw. Anything on top of the carpet, you remove it first. The seat will come out, and then you pull the carpet out. But uh, you will see when I put it back, it's pretty much reverse process. And then when you remove hardware, make sure you have a container that you will hold everything in one place so you don't misplace them. All right. So I'm going to re remove that seat right now, the, the driver's seat. All right. To remove the driver's seat, all you have to do is take the cover out for this, that, and there's four bowl. One, two, three four that's all that hold the seat together plus this one is a power seat so you have to disconnect the cable that take the out the power to it so there's a little clip right here you just have to push and then disconnect it pretty simple process see there's a clip right there just press it and pull it out this is a couple of plastic screw retainer that you have to remove. This one, this one, this one, 
and this one right here too so you kind of like unscrew it and pull the tap out see how that uh, there's two pieces remove these uh, plastic pieces out and that's pretty much it now let's throw in the carpet there's a few more pieces I almost forgot. You loosen this up, but don't remove them. Just enough room to tear it up like that. There's another one over there. There's two pieces over here that you will remove out. Take it out. I put it on the side there. There's another one over there. And these pieces, remember the plastic right here? Take them all out. Then we're ready to throw in the carpet. Since this carpet is so big, it's kind of hard to maneuver it. And I'm working by myself. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna put it in by myself. Even with two people, the same process will be the same, but it's easier for two people to carry it. I have to drag it in, not carry it, all right? So, I fold the front in two, fold, the back one fold, and then I'm gonna wrap them another fold. And this is how I fold it. Okay, once you put it inside, you can unfold it inside the vehicle this way yep I drag it out my ground and position it in this way I'm gonna pull it all the way in through and once you get it inside just unfold this thing and I will bring you back once I unfold completely so I got the carpet in but the hard part is you're gonna make sure you tuck everything in along the edge right? This is the most challenging part. Maybe over time it will slide forward by itself. So you want to make sure you tuck everything behind plastic pieces. Including here, here, here. Right here. See, make sure you tuck everything in before you put the rest of the pieces back in. So in the back, I forgot to mention there's another plastic piece there. I will take you back there when I'm done up here. So we're going to put these two pieces back in. Remember I told you about, you gotta remove that piece right there. So that hole, the copper in the hole right there, that's one piece. And don't forget about a power cable for the power seat. If you don't put it up, then you're not gonna have a power seat if your, your car equipped with power seat. Make sure you have that cable come up. You're gonna hit your light once you <laughs> put everything in and you miss the cable. Reinstall the piece, put the plastic, uh, uh, retainer in same thing over here there's two of them the easy way to take out the core piece put this in first and then press it's simple as that the hard part is get it out you put it in it's easy all right let's go to the back actually no let's go to the side so there's three holes that hold this piece together all you have to do is press them in see the, the three piece one two three just compress it same thing go over there push the plastic this cover up in and then secure it out with a screw screw the screw in hold the plastic pieces in place there's six of them you don't have to talk them too much, just tight. So back here, there are three pieces that hold this carpet from moving. So I guess I pull it out without removing. The problem with it is this is 22 years old with plastic. If I try to pry it, it's gonna break anyway. So I'm just gonna leave it alone and put the plastic back on. One, two, three, four. Snap it in. Just snap it in. Now let's go reinstall the seat that I usually put in, all right? When the seat is back in, reconnect the wire, make sure it's work. And we are back in business.